Welcome everyone to the Franklin County Board of Commissioners General Session. Uh, this is a special session. Uh, today is May 21st, 2021. Um, and uh, uh, clerk, will you uh, please read the resolution? Thank you. Under the Board of Commissioners, resolution number 38021, resolution appointing an unnamed individual as acting commissioner of Franklin County, Ohio. Uh, Mr. Clark, do we have any speaker slips on uh, on this particular resolution? I have received none as of the start of session, Commissioner. Okay. Um, is there a nomination at this point with regards to the uh, amending this resolution so that it reflects a person to be appointed in this position? Is there a nomination? Uh if it pleases uh, Commissioner, uh, Commission President Boyce, I'd like to nominate Don Tyler Lee. I'll second that nomination and open up, uh, open up the floor mm -hmm. for discussion at this time. Is there anyone that wishes to speak on this nomination in the audience? Those of you on Zoom, if you'd like to speak, uh, please unmute your line at this time and identify yourself before doing so. Otherwise, I see none, Commissioner. Seeing that there's none, I'll start with a few comments. Um, I had the pleasure of knowing Don Tyler Lee for the course of my political career, which uh, spans uh, about <coughs> from years, um, about 25 years. And uh, I was just told that by PERS. And so, um, and, um, you know, we, we joke all the time that she's slightly older than me. Uh, actually, I'm slightly older than her. Uh, but we are uh, have known each other since the very beginning of time as political career that I've been a part of. And I just can't think of a person in central Ohio who uh, is the epitome of public service more than Dawn Tyler Lee. Um, from City Hall to her work in, not in various nonprofit entities, from the United Way uh, to the, um, um, oh my gosh, the, um, I don't know what it is. No, not Ohio State, but Ohio State of uh, the, you were just the, um, oh my God, Celebrate One. God, I can't think of it. Yeah, yeah, okay. So to Celebrate One, um, which is about infant mortality in Central Ohio. And um, I've just, it's interesting to watch someone grow up in politics, you know, where, oh, hi, mom, how are you doing? So good to see you. Oh my God. And, and her mom and I were in grad school together. So uh, we really go back. But, but um, it's interesting to see someone grow up in politics because growing up in politics, there are so many ways and pathways that you can go. And there are few of us who are able to do it over the course of 25 or so years. And we collect our scars, no doubt, but to do it with the grace and the plum that uh, Dawn Tyler Lee has been able to do it um, is just something that uh, is a standard that we all work to achieve. And I think that, uh, albeit this is a, a, a short-term appointment, um, I think that, you know, as a, what I can tell you about being a county commissioner is that whether it's 35 days or 300 days, uh, we have so much work that we're doing and we are impacting lives every day. And your presence here will be felt not just by John O'Grady and I and all of those uh, uh, employees who serve Franklin County, but by the residents of this great Central Ohio region. Uh, they are counting on you, they need you, and your voice, your perspective, and your leadership is welcome. And uh, I think that you bring a wealth of knowledge and resource to the table that um, will not only uh, help us get through this temporary time, but enhance the work that we're doing. And, and that's why um, I'm excited to second that nomination and looking forward to um, having you seated next to John and I to carry out the work of Central Ohio and the importance of impact in the lives of the residents that we serve every single day. And so uh, I know Commissioner O'Grady uh, will have uh, some comments to make as well, given that he made the nomination. Well, <clears throat> thank you, Commissioner Boyce. Uh, I'm very excited to, uh, to be able to uh, nominate Dawn, Dawn and, uh, and, and add her to uh, this Board of Commissioners uh, as the first African-American woman to serve uh, and to be able to uh, be a part of the Franklin County Board of Commissioners in the history of the county. Um, I've known, as, as has Kevin, I've known Dawn for, 
for a long time, longer than I think all of us would like to care to admit. Um, both she and her brother Kevin have been fantastic public servants for this community for a number of years, and and uh, what they give to this community is is uh, unbelievably important and and very worthwhile. Um, you know, I, I'm excited because I think Dawn will bring um, a very measured, uh, conscientious approach to the Board of County Commissioners, very deliberate approach, um, and and so uh, very considered uh, approach to all of the, the issues that we have facing us uh, here over the next month and a half or so that she'll be serving. And so uh, I'm, a, I'm really excited to uh, to not only nominate her, but to be able to vote to uh, bring her onto the board to serve alongside Commissioner Boyce and I. Very, very exciting t time today. Uh, so thank you. Absolutely. And uh, let me give the audience one more opportunity. I see our uh, prosecutor is on the line and I wanna make sure I do this absolutely right. So I'd like to open up the floor one more time for any comments or any other nominations for uh, commissioner. Dean, do you see any uh, raised hands or any other people wishing to speak? Commissioner, I see no one indicating that they'd like to address the board. Okay, let the record reflect that uh, we've given ample time for speakers to uh, step forward. I see that there are none. Uh, clerk, please call the roll on the resolu on resolution 380-20. Correction, 380-21, Commissioner. Oh, I'm sorry, it is 2021, yes, that's sir. right, uh, 2021, 380-21. Thank you, the resolution has been moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady. Yes. Commissioner Boyce. Yes. Resolution number 380-21 has been adopted. Congratulations, Commissioner. A round of applause. And uh, Mr. Clerk, I'm gonna defer to uh, the, the prosecutor just to make sure uh, at this time, I believe we could move forward with the swearing in, but I want to love Janine's uh, sign off on that. Absolutely, and we are very excited for our new commissioner to move forward and take her oath. Excellent. Uh, we'll ask uh, your folks to come forward, uh, Judge Cocroft and uh, Don Tyler Lee, Robert Lee, and any other guests you might have with you. Commissioner Boyce, thank you. Before I administer the oath to the newest commissioner, I want to congratulate you. Uh, you have been a stalwart in our community um, and your acumen, your aptitude and your ability are only paralleled by your generosity of spirit, your humility and your perseverance. We are so delighted that you have been seated in this position and it echoes the legacy of your father who was the first African-American director of the Ohio Environmental Protection Agency. And you are again forging another first in our community. So if you are ready, You'll raise your right hand, please, and place your left hand on your grandmother's Bible. And if you'll repeat after me, I, Dawn Tyler Lee, I, Dawn Tyler Lee, will support the Constitution of the United States. Will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution and laws of the state of Ohio. Constitution and laws of the state of Ohio, and will faithfully and impartially, and will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all duties. Will discharge and perform all duties incumbent upon me, incumbent upon me as a county commissioner of Franklin County, Ohio. As a county commissioner of Franklin County, Ohio. To the best of my ability and understanding. To the best of my ability and understanding. And I will do this. And I will do this. As I will answer unto God. As I will answer unto God. Congratulations.
I'd like to invite uh, Commissioner Do uh, Tyler Lee to her seat, to take her seat and make a few comments before we close out the meeting. The floor is all yours. Thank you. I'm new here, so you'll have to show me the ropes for a little bit, make sure I don't uh, make those mistakes. Good afternoon. It is certainly uh, my honor to be here to Commission President Boyce, to Commissioner O'Grady, to the county administration, all of the leadership of the county, county employees. Uh, thank you for um, all that uh, you have done to, to make this possible. Um, public service is not foreign to me, uh, but this is certainly a new and unique opportunity to serve the residents of Franklin County that I wholeheartedly embrace. And I thank Commissioner Boyce and Commissioner O'Grady for their votes of confidence. And while this tenure will be brief, please know that I will serve uh, with my whole heart in, in my best capacity for the residents of Franklin County. It's an honor to serve this community that I have grown up in, that I have been a part of for many years. And there are so many people to thank. And um, at the risk of leaving anyone out, I just want to say there are so many people on whose shoulders I stand, family, near and far, friends, mentors, colleagues, past and present. Um, but I'd like to give a special acknowledgement to my mom, Joyce Craddock, and to my husband, Robert Lee, who are here today. Uh, they are tremendous supporters and cheerleaders. And you may find this hard to believe, but they put up with me even when I'm in a bad mood, which is from time to time. But hopefully you won't see that side of me here. Uh, it is certainly an honor. And I look forward uh, to the service. I look forward to the challenge. And I look forward to all of us working together to uh, make Franklin County the best it can be. And uh, just for the record, council member, I'm sorry, uh, County Commissioner Boyce is older than I am. We go through this often, but for the record. Well, I, I could say this. What we know for sure is that John O'Grady is the oldest commissioner. Mm, mm, so, fair, uh, that's fair. So that's for sure. <laughs> Let's be clear. Thank you very much for this honor. Commissioner. Please, uh, Commissioner O'Grady, heads up. I just wanted to say I'm the senior commissioner. Let's let's refer to it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, well, it's just it's a, it's really going to be an honor to serve with you. I, I'm very excited about it. I'm very I'm very excited about it, and I, I will say that um, today uh, uh, the three commissioners have buried a great one in um, former state representative Otto Beatty. And what I what I know about public service is, is that every day is a privilege to serve the residents of this great community. And I don't know of any elected officials here locally who take this role lightly. And I'm absolutely confident that um, uh, Don Tyler Lee, myself, Commissioner O'Grady, um, will live up to the legacy that people like Otto Beatty have left for us all to try to champion. And uh, may, your, may our hearts and our prayers be with Joyce Beatty, um, as she reflects on her time and her love for her husband. And may uh, that family be in our hearts. Uh, we also have uh, Judge Beatty uh, here as part of our county family. And so uh, I would ask that we take just a moment of silence to reflect uh, on the legacy of the Beatty family, and in particular, Otto Beatty. Here, here. Thank you. If there is no further business, Mr. Clerk. There is not, Commissioner. All right, well, that concludes our meeting. And uh, Commissioner Grady, did you have anything else, sir? Uh, just a, a, a hearty welcome to uh, Commissioner uh, Tyler Lee. Uh, don't worry, in five weeks, you don't have to worry about trying to fill Commissioner Brown's shoes. Uh, that's for someone else to worry about, but we sure do look forward to the next five weeks of serving with you. I do as well, thank you. So that concludes our meeting. You all have a great day and have a wonderful one. God bless. Thank you, everyone.